With games like Risk of Rain 2, Darkest Dungeon, and even Two to Midnight, plus dozens more touting themselves as roguelike, what is roguelike? Where does the term come from? Let's talk about it. So what is a roguelike game? What does roguelike mean? Well, I can say the term has had many iterations over the years, from roguelike to roguelite, and even roguelike light. Confusing stuff. So let's clear all this up. Roguelike started after the launch of Rogue exploring the Dungeons of Doom way back in 1980. And yes, I've had many hours enjoying the game after it was released. The game has defined a genre. In it, Rogue puts you in the shoes of an adventurer. Your goal is to descend to the bottom of a dungeon to retrieve the amulet of Yendor. Along the way, you must kill monsters that stand in your way. By slaying said monsters and collecting loot, you are able to improve your character's survivability. The game had great replayability. That brings us to the first prerequisite of a roguelike game. Procedurally generated maps or dungeons. Every time you start the game, the layout is different. No trying to memorize the layout and where loot may be located here. It's always different. Always providing an excellent challenge every time you play. Rogue also had permadeath. That's right. We're not playing Mario here where you start off with three lives. Rogue is a one-shot deal. If you die, that's it. You have to start over with a fresh dungeon. The third prerequisite is it being turn-based. Over the years, developers and gamers themselves have softened on the hardcore roguelike elements. So you may actually hear terms like roguelite or roguelike light. Nowadays, these terms are used interchangeably. Even games like Diablo have been described as roguelike because of its procedurally generated dungeons. But most roguelike games today blurred the lines of what it means to be roguelike. Most just contain one or two of the rogue elements. So as stated before, the definition has changed with time. Whether that's good or bad depends on who you ask. So the next time you see a game describing itself as roguelike, the game probably has one of the three basic elements. One, procedurally generated maps. Two, permadeath. And three, turn-based. So now you know Rogue, the game that started it all. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing for more Axial GT content. Help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers by the end of February. Your support is much appreciated. And I thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm out of here. You all have a good one.